Hi guys, we are starting on Geometry of Straight Lines this week. If you are working on the worksheet, then you can just follow with the slides, otherwise you need to copy this into your books. Um, uh, you don't need to write down anything yet, I'll tell you when to start writing. Alright, so before we start, let's just recap some of our angles. You've got the smallest angle, which is less than 90 degrees, which is acute. The one that's exactly 90 degrees, which is shown by a box by the angle, which is equal to 90, that's called a right angle. You've got your obtuse angle, which is bigger than 90, but less than your straight line, which is 8, 180 degrees. Then you've got your straight line, um, which is just basically the angles on a straight line, which all add up to 180 degrees. Your reflex is kind of your second largest one, so it's, sm it's smaller than 360, but it's bigger than 180. And then your last one is your revolution, so that's exactly 360 degrees. Okay, you don't need to write this down yet, um, but you can start writing now. All right, so we're going to start with angles at one point. When I'm working with angles at one point, there's only three main reasons I'm working with. Angles around a point, angles on a straight line, vertically opposite angles. Those are the ones we're doing in this video. Okay, so there's my point there, and I've got a bunch of different angles around it. I've got one, two, three, four, five different angles around this one point. Cool, so... Here's an example of angles around a point. This is my first reason. Okay, so this is the way that you write it. Angles around a point. All of these, because they are a full revolution, add up to 360 degrees. So in my statement column of my geometry section, I'm going to have my equation, which is something plus something equals something. Okay, so in this case here, 70 plus 45 plus 135 plus 45 plus x, all equal 360 degrees, reason, angles around a point. Then I can get my like terms together. So if I add all my constants, I'm going to get 295 degrees, subtract that from 360, and you should get x to be 65 degrees. Okay, please will you make sure that you've got this example in your books before you carry on with the video. All right. Reason number two is similar to angles around a point, um, but sometimes they don't give you all the information you need for angles around a point, so then you use um, angles on a straight line. Okay, so I know that a straight angle or angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So I can say 80 plus y plus 25, okay, I'll obviously leave out that 25 because it's underneath the line. So all of these three, when I add them together, I get 180 degrees. Okay, so if I write that as a statement, that's what it looks like. And the reason that that statement is true is because they are all angles on a straight line, which I know add up to 180 degrees. Okay, then I can get my like terms. So 80 plus 25 is 105. Subtract it from 180 to get y alone. And you're going to get that y is equal to 75 degrees. Okay, so that's reason number two. And then reason three is vertically opposite angles. Okay, so vertically opposite angles, you're working with an X. So the opposite angles are equal to each other. So in this case here, those two will be equal to each other. And if I take that black line away, those two will be equal to each other. Okay, so let's do an example on this. Um, all right, so here's an example where you can clearly see that there's an X and the two angles are opposite each other inside that X. So that means I know that both of them are equal to each other. So my statement would be 2x equals 30. Okay, reason, vert, op, angles, equal. That's how you write the reason. You must make sure that you're writing the reasons exactly the way that I'm putting them. Um, because if, say, you leave out something, then you get it wrong. Okay, so then I can work out x by dividing through by 2. And if I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to get x is equal to 15 degrees. Okay, so the three reasons that we've done today, um, angles around a point, angles on a straight line, vertically opposite angles, you should have an example for all three of those in your book. And then after that, you can write down your heading, geometry, uh, exercise 10.1, page 87. And I would like you to do that whole exercise. This is what it looks like for those of you that don't have a textbook. Um, so number one to number eight, you need to calculate all the unknowns of the angles.